And so you brought four subwoofers. We've got eight 18s in this room. We've got how 16, many? 16,000 watts in the subs. 16,000 yeah, yeah. watts. You asked me, Michael, we need more power here, so we had to run some dedicated power in this room. Uh, we have 1,000 watts going to each of the Atmos speakers, because wow. why not? 1,000 watts to each Atmos speaker. Yeah. Now, that's some serious dedication. 2,000 watts to each of the main speakers, so we're wow. about 40,000 watts in here. Hey, guys, we are at M-Wave 2023 here in the JTR dedicated home theater space. Jeff, thanks so much for coming, man. This is fantastic. We've got a dedicated huge room. We're going to go through the components here, talk about your speakers, what you brought to the show, and you came out in a big, big way. I know last year you brought the RTJ Tower Power. This year you came with a full-blown Dolby Atmos system. So kind of tell us what we got going on, Jeff. Man, there's, I've been to a lot of trade shows, and they usually don't bring a full-on Atmos system, lots yeah. of subs and yep. a big screen and everything. So we, we wanted to go all out. So we have uh, nine of my Noesis 212 RT towers surrounding the listening position. Mm -hmm. We have uh, four of my Captivator 4000s. Uh, they're 4,000 watts, uh, 218s. And we put them right around the listening position to give everyone a whole lot of base <laughs> and there's definitely a whole lot of bass. I saw a whole lot of drywall dust hitting the floor too, so you're definitely pressurizing this room, and it's a massive yeah. room. And so with a massive room, you kind of need to have a lot of displacement. And so you brought four subwoofers. We've got eight 18s in this room. We've got how 16, many? 16,000 watts in the subs. 16,000 yeah, yeah. watts. You asked me, Michael, we need more power here, so we had to run some dedicated power in this room. We have yeah. a trip breakers. It was great. So what else are we running in this room? Uh, we did, uh, we built all this truss in just a couple hours up overhead here. Man, We're running awesome. uh, six Atmos speakers. So it's 9.4.6. Mm -hmm. We got the new JVC NZ9 projector. And of course you can't go around with the Seymour AV screen. So we got their XD material. Okay. So that's acoustic transparent. You got yep. your center channel directly behind yeah. it. Totally That's the, the beauty of the, the transparent screens is you can put this center channel right there and all your vocals come right from that center of the screen. So yeah. the image matches the sound. So you that's, got, that's best practice right there. Yeah, you got big, massive screen, huge, massive 170 sound. inch wide screen. It was gorgeous, man. Yeah, NZ9 shine in here. So yeah, I'll be uh, honest, Jeff, there's a lot of people that came at the beginning of the show and, and we would ask them like, hey, what are you most excited about the show? And I'll be honest, a lot of them said, I want to hear this JTR system. And many of them, they've heard it, you know, me talking about it on my channel because I've got it in my yeah. dedicated theater room, but they've never heard a JTR system. They've just heard a lot of people talk about your brand and talk about your subs and your towers, and they wanted to experience it themselves. Yeah. And so what kind of feedback were you getting for some folks? Oh, it seems like everyone loves it. I was staying outside the room just watching impressions on people's faces. And everyone comes out with a big smile like, how was it? They're like, it was awesome. Cool. <laughs> so, that's just it's an amazing feeling. You know, we're trying to put on a really good show here, and um, so, and uh, the thing that is crazy though is so many people here never heard of JTR. This is their first time awesome. hearing of JTR, mm -hmm. and a lot of people's first time hearing the JTR. So it's just it's nice to get new people involved. Yeah, absolutely. And what's cool about the show? I've seen a lot of ladies come to the show. I've seen some children come into the show. We've got older gentlemen, middle-aged, younger. Yeah. It's a wide variety, and so, man, you're cranking it out in this room. What um, kind hey, of setup? Hey, 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 we've been what? keeping it reference. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I just say, reference. That's true. We're not killing nobody. No, no, no. no. Until the after party. You know, no, I came. We might have been plus fourteen <laughs> today at the after party. <laughs> so I came in there earlier. Great pressurization, incredible detail, and soundstage. It was really, really immersive the way you've got this, and you know. We're trying to cover a big seating area. Most people don't yeah. have, what is that, 15 chairs. And so we're trying to give them best seat yeah. as possible. What were you running as far as power and uh, processing in this room? Uh, we have 1,000 watts going to each of the Atmos speakers because wow. why not? 1,000 watts to each Atmos speaker. Yeah. Now, that's some serious dedication. 2,000 watts to each of the main speakers. So we're wow. about 40,000 watts in here. Well, we're not using it all. Yeah, but, right, yeah. correct. But why would you want to add that much power to a speaker Headroom. that's super, super efficient? Headroom. Yeah. So These things are barely yeah. coasting along. You don't have to worry about clipping. You don't have to worry about distortion. These things are just, they're going, it's all good. Yeah. And uh, like, 
I love watching all the demos. I'm a big movie buff. Yeah. So we were picking out, like the, the guys and I spent hours uh, Thursday before the show mm -hmm. watching movie clips. And that's my favorite part. We had friends in here watching movie clips, trying to figure mm -hmm. out what to watch. And uh, I think my, one of my favorites so far has been Maverick. Okay, yeah. That was pretty amazing. Uh, Jurassic World, um, Jumanji. The, do you know the scene with the helicopter busting mm -hmm. out of the barn and then a rocket shooting overhead? Yeah, that is really good. We got a lot of people jumping out of their seats. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We so. came in, Brad and I, earlier, and we had a chance to hear the Mali Alita. Alita. The battle angel. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that the roller derby kind of thing? Yeah. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. A lot of LFE in the, in the track itself, and the JTR is just absolutely performed. Yeah. But we, we don't want to do just shoot 'em up movies. Yeah. So we did a lot of uh, Star is Born. Mm -hmm. We did uh, World's Greatest Showman. Uh, we even did a few cartoons in there. Let's do the Spider Man, uh, the new Spider Man movie. Yeah, the Into the Spider Verse or Cross. Yeah, one think, of those. One of those, something like mm -hmm. that. So we've been mixing up with the content. Yeah. Of course, that's part of it is watching and experiencing it all. So. Yeah. And that's really what we're about here at M Wave. We want to provide you guys with opportunities to experience things that maybe you've never experienced. There's a lot of people that I've been talking with at the show, they've never experienced a home theater other than their own. So they don't even know what's out there. So they were really excited to be able to hear several home theater systems mm -hmm. in here. I don't know if this is home theater because this is massive, but this is almost like cinema level. I mean, this is next yeah. level stuff and we're having a great time here. Yeah. But they're hearing things that they've never heard before, experiencing things they've never heard. You wouldn't believe how many people I've talked to that they say they're from such and such place and they're so excited to come here to be around other home, th th home theater. Home theater, yeah. Th yes. yeah. I can't speak. It's the end of the day. It's so. been a long four yeah. or five days. But that's just, they're excited to come here and meet yeah. other enthusiasts. They're excited to see other theaters. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like, at one time, I was talking to three guys from Texas, yep. Houston, Texas, and then I walk up to another guy, I start talking to him, he's from Houston, Texas. I'm like, hey, come over here. Y'all need to get together. Yeah, so, you know, trying to make those connections yeah. and stuff, so it's just, it's great. You I know? appreciate that, because that's, again, that's another core value. We want to provide opportunities for people to connect, because really, sometimes the home theater space is kind of lonely, you know? All There's right. not a lot of people that you know that are into this, and maybe they got a sound bar, maybe they just got a big TV, but they're not crazy guys like us that have multiple 18s and six Atmos and an incredible projector. Yeah. But when we're able to come together and really <laughs> connect with people that are like-minded, it's really, truly something special. And I've seen that community being developed on my channel, but also at M-Wave. And I'm really yeah. pumped that JTR came out, like I said, in a huge way. This is an awesome, awesome room. And so hopefully we'll have JTR back next year. Yeah. Maybe even bigger and better, man. Maybe. I don't know if you can get much bigger and better. My goodness, Jeff. We got but, your whole inventory you here. You got to do a home theater tour in Kansas City. That's, Lots. Uh, a lot Lots. of people didn't realize this, but there is a yeah. huge home theater community out here. 100%. And they're great. We were just talking yet uh, earlier today. 2011 was my first time out yeah. here. And I've been out here almost every year since then for different home theater crawls and get-togethers. And, man, it's just a really great uh, community out here. hundred percent. And I think that's that's a big part of this experience. So you we picked a good spot to host this event. I appreciate it, man. Well, this has been great. Well, guys, Jeff, anything else about your room, about the setup? Anything you want to share to the folks out there? Uh, man, put me on the spot. <laughs> I could go on for days about all of the people that I met here and the great experiences and how helpful everyone's been. Mm -hmm. And, the you know, it's just awesome the community has been great yeah well guys i hope you enjoy this tour of the jtr experience room we've got plenty more in store for you in the coming days so make sure you subscribe to the channel it's going to be awesome next year so go ahead and make your plans for m wave 2024 hope you guys have an incredible week god bless we'll catch you in the next video